Welcome to Ventrace's Creating a Work Order tutorial. In this video, we'll explain the options you have for creating a work order in Ventrace. We'll show you how to add a work order manually and how you can add jobs to it. We'll look at a printed work order so that you can see what's included in the default print template. Finally, we'll show you where you can view your work orders in Ventrace. Work orders give you a way to group and schedule jobs that need to be completed by your seller. For example, you could have a work order that includes an extraction and an analysis. Or you might have a work order that performs product treatments on several wines. You can create a work order in Ventrace either manually or by using a work order template. When you create a work order manually, you select the jobs that you want to include in the work order and specify all the details for the work order and its operations. The other option for creating a work order is to use a work order template. Templates include the jobs that are to be completed and make it easier and faster to create work orders. We'll show you how to create and use work order templates in another video. For now, let's set up a work order manually. There are a number of ways that you can create a work order manually in Ventrace. Whenever you see the clipboard icon on a page, you can click it and select Create a Work Order. The plus icon is another option for creating a new work order. The clipboard and plus icons are available on a number of pages throughout Ventrace, including the Vessels, Product, Batch Explorer, and Jobs pages. You can also create work orders from the job calendar. Let's say that we want to schedule a blend of several wines. For this blend, we want the seller to transfer wine from several vessels into a tank. We also want them to record lab results for some metrics. To create this work order, we'll click the plus icon on the jobs page, then click Create a Manual Work Order. The work order's schedule date defaults to the current date and time. You can change this by manually entering the date and time or by clicking either of the icons beside the field. You can change who the work order is assigned to by clicking the X to remove the currently selected user, then selecting the person from the list. For our example, we'll enter a brief description for the work order in the summary field. We'll also select the transfer note indicator. The selected note indicator is displayed below the barcode on the printed work order. It's a way to quickly summarize and identify the purpose of the work order. In this field, you can enter general instructions for the work order. If your winery has standard notes set up, you can use one of those here. Standard notes are predefined instructions that you can include in a work order. For example, we have a standard note named Blend. When we select the standard note, Ventrace automatically fills in the instructions that were entered for our blend standard note. Standard notes eliminate the need to re-enter the same text over and over again. To add a job to the work order, click Add Job, then select the operation. For our example, we'll select the multi-transfer many-to-one operation. If you've recorded a multi-transfer operation in Ventrace, this should look familiar since it's the same window. We'll specify the details for the vessels and batches that we want to blend in the source vessels section of the window. Next, we'll specify the vessel and batch details for the destination. Let's say that we also want the seller to record certain metrics in this work order. To do this, we'll click the beaker icon, 
then select the metrics that we want an analysis on. When we're ready to add this job to the work order, click Add to Work Order. If you want to add other jobs to the work order, you'd click Add Job, select the operation, and specify the details, just like we did here. If you're not quite ready to send the work order to the seller, you can save the work order as a draft. When you're ready to schedule the work order, save it as ready. If the checkbox labeled Print Work Order on Save is selected, Ventrace generates a PDF or Word document of the work order that you can print. All the information that you entered for the work order is included. The header displays the person the work order is assigned to, the schedule date, the name of the person who created the work order, and the date the work order was issued. Because we included general instructions in our work order, those instructions are also included. There's also a section for each job in the work order with all the details for the operation. If you're using Ventrace's web application, work orders that are ready display in Ventrace's job calendar and on the jobs page. We'll cover the job calendar and jobs page in another video. If you're using the Ventrace mobile app, work orders that are ready will also display there. Now that you know how to create a work order, you can use them to schedule jobs at your winery. If you have any questions or need any help, Contact our support team or check out our help center. Thanks for watching.